This is so insane. Today we're switching it up. I'm not gonna vlog today because I Honestly, I'm not doing anything today. So I'm gonna show you guys instead how I make my nitro matcha and my nitro cold brew I've just been obsessed with it. It's all I can think about every single morning I just want to make nitro matcha and cold brew every single day But I did just run out of nitro or I did just run out of cold brew So we have to go to Target to get some technically I think that you can do it with espresso But last time I tried it with espresso. It was just Kind of watery and like runny. Oddly enough, my obsession started when I went to La Cologne for the first time and this is a La Cologne sweatshirt or crew neck, so it's very fitting. They have locations, I think they started in Philly, but they also have a few locations in DC. If you've never been and you have a location near you, go because they're really good. I'll show you the things that I use, the things that you will probably need to buy if you want to do this, and then we'll go to Target together. Or let's, let's reverse those. We're gonna go to Target first. Here is my second shoe. My dog always takes my shoes and he runs away with them. Let's go find my second shoe. There it is. I wonder who took it. It was this little guy. He's such a good boy though. What are you doing? What are you doing back there? Oh, not on my couch, please. Siggy got my shoe back from the little thief. These are just Rothy's. I love these shoes. They're kind of like a cream color and then they have blue on the back. I just think that Rothy's are always such comfortable shoes. I really want their flats. I think I might have to buy the Rothy's flats for the spring. My pants are thrifted. These might be my greatest thrift find ever because I, I basically live in these pants. I feel like I wear them all the time. So dirty. We haven't cleaned it in forever. It's my boyfriend's car because I'm too scared to drive my car. My car is a 2007 Honda Civic. I got it when I was 15 years old. I fully paid it off right before I graduated college. And I love that car. I really do. But it's already broken down on me a few times in the past couple years. And I'm just like scared to drive it because I'm scared it's going to break down as I'm driving. One time it broke down. I drove somewhere, parked. I went in to just pick up food and then it just wouldn't start. So it's time for a new car. I just, I'm waiting. My favorite sunscreen recently. Cold brew secured. I'm back from the grocery store. Let me show you what I got. Staying true to my roots, La Cologne. This is where my obsession came from, from their store. I also got this one. This is the one that I had last time. I think this is called, I don't even know how to pronounce this one. Stoke? Is it Stoke or Stock? Um, I did see a TikTok video one time though of somebody dumping this out and there was like a huge clot at the bottom of it but i've had it before and like i don't see a clot down there it looked really nasty and so i may have stopped buying it for a little bit after that but i don't see a problem in this one let's get to work which one should we use i think i want to use the la cologne because i'm just i'm wearing a la cologne sweatshirt crew neck i keep saying sweatshirt I make it so you guys can see the table some of the things that you're going to need a whipped cream dispenser. This is important. I don't think that you can make nitro cold brew without it. I think this was like $20 on Amazon. I'll link it in the description. Okay, it smells gross. I need to clean it out. You're also going to need nitrous oxide. So technically, I think that you're supposed to use just nitrogen. And I have both nitrogen and nitrous oxide little like capsule things like this. I've just found that nitrous oxide works better than just the nitrogen. So I will also link these. They're just nitrous oxide chargers. I think that's what they're called. We're gonna need cold brew and milk. I'm just gonna use whole milk because whole milk makes it really creamy. My assistant is not supposed to be on the table. You're not supposed to be on the table. She's back up. <laughs> you better not jump. She just jumped back up. Guys, how do you keep cats off tables? Because I've tried foil, it doesn't work. I have to put foil in my plants because she'll try to go in there and dig to use it as a litter box. She doesn't care. She does not care about the foil. I keep hearing people say that cats are scared of foil, but apparently not Siggy. I think I'm just gonna have to accept the fact that she will jump on the table and I'll just have to clean the table because nothing will stop her. I'm gonna make a huge batch because we love nitro matcha around here. Not matcha, I mean, uh, I used a half of it. I might be going to New York City next week. 
and I'm just excited for the coffee and the bagels that I'm gonna be eating. Right now, a little bit of whole milk, just a splash, or a little bit more than a splash. If you don't drink whole milk, you could use the Chobani extra creamy milk. I'm pretty sure it's the one that's in like a white and orange container because that stuff gets so foamy. Might have overfilled this. Hold on. Because when you put the nitrous oxide in, it kind of expands and I don't want it to I don't want it to explode on me. This is the nitrous oxide charger. And then you want to tip the canister upside down so that all the liquid's facing where this is going to be injected into the liquid, basically. And then you just screw it on. It'll make a, like a bubble sound. Okay, ready? I'll get you a close-up in a second. Let's hope that this is a good one. Oh. That's beautiful. It's like whipped cream. This is insane. This is insane. And then look, once it settles, you can see all the liquid at the bottom. So this is all the cold brew. And then this is just like foam on the top. <laughs> this is so insane. <gasps> okay, I kind of did that on purpose. I do love when it overflows. I can't lie. Welcome back to day two of our Nitro Matcha series. Well, it's only a two day series. So I should do more. I should do like a week long thing and see how many different like flavors and types of not nitro drinks that I can make because I feel like that would be really fun. Today we're doing matcha. We're gonna be using jade leaf matcha. If you don't follow me on TikTok, just a little backstory. This is the matcha that I'm convinced started my YouTube, not my YouTube, my TikTok account because I swear I posted this and then I just started getting a ton of followers. I had like a matcha series for a little while when I first started back in 2021. And no, that was 2022. That was spring of 2022 and it just like took off after I posted this and I was just posting fun little matches. It was a fun time. Also update on my New York City trip, it's booked. We FaceTimed last night, we got all the details planned out, we booked everything. So I'm very excited. I'm so excited for New York City. Although I feel like I developed a little bit of travel anxiety when I went to Charleston. I, I made a vlog about Charleston where I talked about it a little bit in that video, but basically there was a really bad storm when I was flying in and for some reason, I've never been scared of turbulence before, but that turbulence like unlocked something in me. And now I get nauseous whenever I travel. I'm just gonna make matcha how you would normally make it, except I'm gonna make a lot because I'm gonna try to fill this thing up. So maybe we'll do like three full scoops. And then I like to sift it so that, I don't know if sifting really does anything to be honest with you. I like to sift it so that it seems like it it's fluffier when you whisk it. Okay, that matcha also, if you're gonna use matcha, try to get ceremonial grade matcha, and I do not like sweetened matcha, so I would recommend if you wanna try out matcha, do not get matcha that has sugar already mixed into it. Just get 100% matcha. And we get a little bit of hot water, not boiling, just hot. It'll look like this, and then we just whisk. And this is a matcha whisk. It's like a bamboo matcha whisk. I like to put just enough water so that it almost looks like a paste. Like you see how that's more pasty than it is liquidy? I'm using pistachio milk. This is the brand Tosh, Tash. I don't know how to really say it. Pistachio, Tash, I think it might be Tash. So once it's all mixed up, I'm making a huge mess. I feel like I should do this over a sink, okay. And for extra flavor, I'm putting in pistachio syrup. Pretty much been putting pistachio syrup into my matcha lattes for ever since I bought this. I found this at TJ Maxx. And then I posted about this on TikTok and people were like, I don't trust food from TJ Maxx. And you know what, I feel the same way. But I feel like this is different because it's just sugar and water and flavor. And then I'm experimenting today. I'm just gonna use nitrogen today. So yesterday, or yeah, yesterday I used N2O, which is nitrous oxide. We're just gonna try nitrogen and see how this turns out. There are these little blue capsules. I hope that this is foamy. No, it's not. Okay. Well, it'll still be good. It's just not like whipped cream like the coffee was yesterday. But it's still foamy. It's just not the same type of foam. It's still good. It's still creamy. No, it's not creamy. It's airy. The other one was creamy. That's it, guys. If you want, I'm going to link all this stuff 
in case you want to try it out. It's really not that expensive. I think this was only $20. And then the chargers are the most expensive part. I think that they're like $30 for a pack. And sadly, they're not reusable. Once you puncture them with this, you can't use them again. So I have not gone through a whole pack yet, though. I'll see you guys all in my New York City vlog. Cause baby, love.